White Baby J Rock is here, and J Rock is here to react to what happened last night in AEW. MJF, Ricky Starks, was this the promo of the year? Hi, J Rock has come back to you too. What is happening in 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 with the millions? <laughs> and millions of J Rock fans from all over the world. That's right, baby. J Rock is here. And last night, uh, this promo went viral. Uh, Ricky Starks and M J F. J Rock says this. He doesn't follow AEW as much as he follows WWE. But J Rock damn sure knows who MJF is. That young man is vicious and deadly on the microphone. A pipe bomb waiting to happen. When he grabs that microphone, he literally has magic in his hand. And so J Rock says this Last night, probably maybe for the first time, somebody actually may have, dare I say, out promoed MJF brother by the name of Ricky Starks. And so J-Rock says, we're gonna take a listen to it. And I'm gonna watch it for copyright purposes, all right? J-Rock don't want to get the video, get taken down or get a strike or anything like that. So we're just gonna listen to the audio and what happened last night, all right? You wanna see the full video and what happened, feel free to look it up on YouTube at your discretion, all right? Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Road to 2,000 subs is underway. Almost there, baby, all right? It's showtime. I'll be with you in one second. Brian Danielson, a little birdie told me he didn't want to show up tonight, and I think I know the real reason why. The real reason why is because you're terrified of me. And I don't blame you, but after what I did to your boy, Willie Reed, Hmm. You back in WWE now. Regal. But I'm apparently. Bad, bad man. Apparently he can't and show up to, on TV until 2024. A four time, four time, four time, four time beautiful Dynamite Diamond Ring Champion. And I will still be the holder of the Grand. Now, Richard, these people seem to really like you around here, huh? You know, Ricky, they talk about you like you're some underutilized god of professional wrestling. And trust me, you are very talented. You really are. But you want to know the truth, bud? Here's the truth, absolute. Stop chanting. Tom. This is on national TV, by the, the way. The truth is, in comparison to me, you're the absolute drizzling shits. Oh, or should I say, you're a Rudy Pooh. Hey, hey, Jabroni, that's J Rock's line. The fact that you've stolen literally everything else from that guy. Because, no offense, Richard, you ain't nothing more than a dollar store, Dwayne. Wow. So, you know what I'm going to start calling you, bud? I'm going to start calling you the Pebble, okay? <laughs> and what's going to happen next week in the main event at Dynamite, little Pebble? Put you in my pocket. I'm gonna hop in my brand new Tycon GTS Porsche. Cause unlike all these simple-minded humanoids, I'm actually rich and not a complete loser. I'ma drive you to the nearest body of water. I'ma take you out of my pocket, Pebble, and I am going to skip your scrawny little pigeon toad ass all the way back to Billy Corgan's NWA. So you can wrestle on YouTube where you belong. 
told you, that man vicious. Facts don't care about your feelings, Texas. So, I don't care that you're absolute, because I am a generational talent, and my reign of terror has just begun. Mm. Well, Maxi Pad, I think it's pretty. I should have expected a fifth rate Roddy Piper. That's where it started off. That's where it started off. I they are. expected a fifth rate Roddy Piper wannabe to come out here and try to steal the spotlight. Oh, you trash the city. Oh, you trash the people. Hey, how much more stick do you got? Because the low hanging fruit is running dry, partner. Now, every single week you come out here, you smell like paint thinner and ass. You spray tan, you spray tan your eczema. If you took your shirt off, your back would look like you laid in a hand palm for seven hours. You've got some crappy shoes on. It's never ironed. The shirt is too small. The shitty scarf and the terrible ass haircut. And you think that you're better than one? Give me a break. Get him. Okay, Ricky. Okay, Ricky. Pretty Ricky what they call him. Ricky Stark. Everything about you screams cheap. The cheap suits, the cheap shoes, the cheap heat. Oh my God. And you are our new AEW champion, huh? Well, here's the thing. With that AEW championship comes a big responsibility that you know nothing about. The difference between you and me is that when these people got behind me, I gave them a reason to keep going. When they put faith in you, you let them down. When Regal believed in you, you let him down. But brother, when it comes to Ricky, I deliver on time, every time, every night, every week, every month. And you can take your little ass to Greece for three months because, oh, you didn't get paid enough. Because, oh, you got out politics by somebody smarter than you. But the fact remains is that I've been here busting my ass. You want to talk about responsibility? Let's talk about the fact that you avoid responsibility. You avoid any type of pressure. I show up to sign meeting greets where you, you don't care. You just blow it off because, hey, everybody hates Max, so he has nothing to lose, right? Yeah, guess what, buddy? There comes a lot of responsibility when it comes to people actually liking you. And besides your, your nose being a lot darker than the rest of your body, me, on the other hand, I live with dignity, I live with respect. You know nothing about that. When I lived in my car in South Austin, guess what I was doing? I was grinding. I knew the responsibility of taking care of myself. When it comes to that woman right there, it's my responsibility to get our car, to get our house. And you think because you pay people, because you just ask that Maxwell, I'm better than you, that you can get whatever you want. Please give me a break. Next week is a big deal because I'm putting up and I'm shutting you up for once in your miserable, narcissistic, little punk-ass life. You don't deserve this, but I do. YouTube, guess what? Been there, did that, busted my ass to get here. Never needed a name to make it right here. And I don't need a name to beat your little ass. I am Ricky Starks. I'm gonna stand 10 toes down right now. Next week, I'm smacking the mole off your neck. I'm stomping a asshole right into you. And I'm taking that title. Hey. Okay. Okay. Ricky.
Ricky Stark. Pretty Ricky, what they call him. That you never had done in your life. I'm going to take the responsibility off your plate, little boy. Oh, of course. Hit him with the low blow. I saw the thumbnail, so I know. Maxi pass. What impact right there. Will this be the scene? One week from tonight, and winter is coming. Will Ricky Starks be the new AEW World Champion? Well, J Rock says this. Um, Ricky held his own. J Rock says he stood smack dab right in the people's ring, and he held his own with MJF. Now, the question is whether or not he out promoted MJF. J-Rock says this. Uh, he didn't, he, I'm not gonna say he out promoted him, but he didn't get out promoted. I'm gonna I'm put, put it to you like that. He held his ground right there. And J-Rock says this, you know this, part of being uh, in the entertainment field as sports professional wrestling goes, is that you can increase uh, your your brand if you can get it done on the mic, right? Get it done on the microphone. You think of somebody who has improved on the mic. First person to come to mind, Roman Reigns. Roman has gotten better on the microphone, all right? Now don't get it twisted. He ain't he ain't uh, he ain't the great one, all right? He ain't stone cold, right? But he has damn sure gotten better, all right? Someone who needs to get better on the mic, Ronda. J-Rock says this, as far as Ronda's concerned, uh, Ronda, her first run was better than this one, in the great one's opinion, okay? Because uh, she had a lot of good matches, and she went up against a lot of top talent that could make her look good and also carry the match. Considering that as far as this field is concerned, Ronda's still, you know, somewhat raw, still a rookie. Yeah, she was in UFC, but this this ain't the same thing, right? Now they're trying to put her in the position of carrying the matches, whereas no one cares, right? No disrespect to Shotzi, she, that match shouldn't have been at Survivor Series. I mean, that's a that's a Friday night SmackDown match, all right? That that you know that 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 match shouldn't have been on Survivor Series. All right, I get it. She's Ronda Rousey. She has a big name, but J Rock says this: your name will get you, but so far, right? You got to be able to deliver, like Ricky said. Pretty Ricky, what they call him? Said you got to be able to deliver night after night, week after week, month after month. You got to be able to deliver in the ring and on the microphone. And those are some places that Ronda falls short. Now I do think she's good enough to be able to hang with people who are better than her, right? She can still put, she's put on some good matches with Charlotte. Uh, I remember when Nia Jax got there, she can put on some good matches. She just, at least not now, she she said she's not good enough to carry inferior talent, right? Inferior star power and make them better. She ain't there yet. She could do it in the UFC because, you know, it's a different playing field. She didn't have to be good on the mic. She has to just be good at fighting. So I think what she should do is just do that. Be good at fighting in the WWE. And the only time you need to speak is when you are, you know, threatening to whoop somebody's ass. Uh, outside of that, I don't, I don't see any other reason for her to get on the microphone. All right? She should go the, uh, the Brock Lesnar route. Brock was smart enough to realize, hey, I can get better on the mic. Or I can let this guy talk for me. And boy, did he. Paul Heyman made soul Brock Lesnar. And I think Ronda need to find somebody that can sell her. Maybe she need to become a, the first ever Paul Heyman girl, all right? But she'd have to join, you know, the bloodline, and that ain't happening. But without without further ado, well, find a female who can talk for her, you know? Find a female who, who can be a manager, who can talk for her, who can talk her up, you know? But, yeah, that's what J-Rock thinks. But outside of that, this was good. This was good. J-Rock may have to tune in next week. 
to check out the match between MJF and Rick Stark. Like J-Rock said earlier, I don't follow AEW all that much. All right? Yeah, I peek in and see what's going on here and there. All right? But for the most part, you don't really follow it. But I know who MJF is. All right? That's a cold brother right there. All right? Uh, but with that being said, your turn. Do you think this was the promo of the year? Were there other promos you thought were better? Let me know in the comments section, all right? Post your comments down below. Let J-Rock know what you thought of his reaction to this video. No rhyme intended on that line. If you enjoyed the great one's reaction, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Make sure that you hit that bell so you can be notified when it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J-Rock. Stay tuned for the next video. Mamba, GG, and Wakanda forever. If you smell, which a rock is cooking.